right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw an illustrator. And I already have my picture drawn, sketched out, and I actually inked it just because. But I'm going to go ahead and redraw it in Illustrator. So let's see, we need to open. And let's see here. I believe it's in this one. Yep, there we go. There he is. Mr. Pineapple, I will go ahead and redraw you today. And let's see. Alright, and this is the original, so I put a ridge. And I'll dim it down 50% and okay. There we go. Alright, so we're going to start off with a new layer. Lock the original so it didn't go anywhere. And bring out the Wacom tablet. And get the stylus. And let's see. Like the brush palette is not here. Uh, I guess we'll close that light out. And let's see. I am looking for my brushes. Looks like they're not open, so we'll go up here to window. And oh, it is open. Where are you hiding? Brushes right here. And I have a tab from the brushes I normally use that I've created over the times. And I'll just start with this guy here. So this way I can go ahead and draw with lines. So we'll go ahead and just take a look at that. Alright, looks a little light. I'm going to need something a little bit bigger. So let's pump it up a bit. I usually like to work at about three points. Alright. Uh, and it's a little jagged right here. I'm going to cheat and use the smooth tool. A little once over, and that looks pretty good. And deselect. Okay. All right. <coughs> so let's get in here a little closer, and let's get this line in here. And we'll just keep on going. Oh. Again, a little wobbly there. So I'm going to switch. And it's not selected. We'll try that again. Smooth it out a bit. And I still want it out a little bit more. It's not bulging enough. Oh, that's not what I had in mind. Uh, undo. And just need the point. Alright, and maybe we'll just smooth this out a little bit. Use the smooth tool. That looks good. <coughs> All right. Decent. And let's get in here and line on that one up there. And let's go ahead and do this. I'm 
using a thick line on the outside and I'll go back in with a thinner line like I did with the original drawing. probably a little too thick but we'll just leave it for now alright we're not gonna get too fussy right at the moment I can always go back in and clean this up now we're just getting some lines down and actually I think I want thin up here but I want it to go like this. I'm going to undo that one. I'm going to start about here and come all the way through. Do it like that. That'll be a thinner line. Right now we're just getting all the main lines in here. I'm going to do this cheek next. Mm, I want that. Let's see. Let's try to smooth here. More smooth. More smooth. There we go. Okay. All right. Back at the paintbrush. And we'll select that. There. drawing it's a good idea to draw through things but I'm trying to cut down on the uh, cleanup so select these three points and just nudge it down so it's closer to touching and it's a little bit more jagged than I need so we'll just smooth this out real quick that looks better all right so where are we? Okay. And let's see. Back to the brush. And I should really use these um, shortcut keys. But when I started using Illustrator, they didn't have that option. So I kind of never learned it. So let's see here. bit wobbly. I'm going to go ahead and give it another shot here. Uh, I'm go like this and this. Mm. Okay. Try to keep the line simple Jiggle might not be a bad thing. I'm going to go ahead and keep it clean though for right now. Okay, let's try to keep it clean. There we go. And I do want thick to thin here, so I might overshoot it. And come back and clean it up a little. this improvise a little bit and through there okay and let's see that's most
also the thick stuff. <clears throat> Let's get the teeth though. still thick and actually because I'm gonna play around underneath here I'm gonna do another layer for this piece to be on top so I'm gonna go quick get another layer and we'll, oh. and we'll go like this and not to touch so it connects and like this up oh. that wasn't pretty there we go and over the top of this guy and this guy and like this and we'll split the difference there but that didn't work so we're gonna go ahead and try it again with individual lines and into there all right and do I want this to be thick let's do it for now always undo it. So I do have that on a separate layer so I can just go like this and work underneath and then put it back on top. And let's see here, let's see what we've got. Okay, well let's go ahead and get these done here. The leaves. Alright, so let's get in here. Alright. Individual lines. Oh, don't like that one. And we got the little wiggle again. Alright, let's do this one. And you can always edit. That's the original sketch and ink, but you can always redo it. That's going to be an issue there, so I'm going to undo it and just redraw it. It's easier that way. And you can always select the points like this. So I got the two. Oh, it did connect after all. I didn't think it would. Hello. No, see, it's not connected. So I can go ahead and select those two points. Do a Control Alt J. Select both and put them together. Now if you actually join them, then it'll be a thick end here because it measures the line from the point. See there's point here to thick here, thicker here and then point to here. So if you actually select that, it's going to do that. So let's take a look at that. So if you come in here, where was I? Right here. Alright. So Right now it goes thin to thick to thin, thin to thick to thin, but if I take those two points that I have and do a control J, then it does this. And if you want that, that's fine. It works, you know, depends on what you're looking for. So I'm going to do an undo though, because that's not what I'm looking for. And we'll come in here and get back to the brush. Okay, so what did I just say? I should learn those quick keys. So, that's how you not learn them. <laughs> Just keep going. Alright, so we'll move this up. And here, and here, here, and here. Okay, so again, that didn't line up well, so I can select them all. <coughs> Control Alt J. It's already selecting both. Hit enter. And now they're in the same place. Now let's look. We've got these little wisps here. So what happened? Oh, look at all this prettiness here. I don't think so, Tim. Uh, let's delete that. Okay, and whatever this came from. 
So you do a control Y to see what we have and come in here to actually look at the line. Oh, it's not going to let me any closer than that. So we'll get the direct select. Select it. There's an individual point. We'll get rid of that. And now I'll take a look. Control Y. More of what I'm looking for. Control zero to get back out again. And here we are. All right. So got all the thick stuff done. Looks like it. All right. So now we can go in with the inside lines. And let's go ahead and go down one point and take a test draw. All right. Let's do this here. And I'm going to do something else also. We're going to leave... Alright, so we have the separate layer here. Oh, didn't mean to put uh, that on there, but it's not going to hurt anything. Um, but I think I'm going to change it up. So, this layer here is the body. So, I'm just going to bod. BOD. And let's cancel that. I hit it twice. And this one's going to be the leaves. All right, so we're going to hide the bod, bring back the leaves, and we have them separate. So I'm going to grab this, and I want the select tool, control X. So we've got the leaves on a layer, and paste in front, control F, and we have bob. Okay. So. Right now, we have all these on separate layers, so we can work with them independently and not worry about getting mixed up. So I'm actually going to start another layer, and I'm going to go ahead and put that underneath the bod layer. And we're going to call this uh, surface. Alright, <coughs> so... Um, now I'm going to do all the small lines. Now I went, nope, I'm back to a three-point line right here. And I'm actually going to bring it down. I'm going to go with one right now, just to see here. I'm going to go like this. That's too thin. And I'm going to cut the difference. Uh, the thing of it is, is I can always go back, select, and change the point size. Let's go 1.5, and deselect, and see what we think. Hmm. Thick enough or not? Let's go ahead and try two just to see. Oh, that's not what I wanted to. Hmm. I guess that looks more like this portion of it. And that's why I'm putting on a separate layer. If I decide to go back and just select the whole thing and change it, I can. Right now, I'm going to stick with the two-point for now. All right. So we're going to go ahead and make these shapes, these lines, into there, into there. And we'll do this and this. this to mirror this inside lip look but then I have the chin or bottom of the pineapple it's going to come up like this we want to work these together so let's go ahead and do this and that and this and then we're going to do something like this and like this And 
and if this bottom gets in the way here, uh, da -da 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 -da, bottom I can always just take it out of the way. That way I can work through the image and then put the other on top. But I'm okay with where it is right now, so we'll just keep going. And turn it back on, and let's just get this line. And I think we're gonna want to do this and this, and come up here and do. Oh, that's not what I want. Let's keep it closer to the original. This is one place where I don't mind if it's a little more goofy because it's actually going to make it look more shocking. But I'm okay with this. And let's see here. Alright, I'm going to hide the background just to take a look and see what we've got. Okay, I'm missing this stuff. Put those in. Okay, how are we doing? Yes. We have some things that aren't connected, but that doesn't bother me. Let's get this in there. Oop. Not quite. Alright, let's undo. Let's move it a little further up and in. There we go. Okay. And this I might consider just actually leaving the this section out and have the eye bulging a little bit more. Don't know. We'll see. <coughs> okay. All right. So here we are. We've got our lines. So now the debate: um, Am I going to create shapes? Or I'm going to keep the lines. Um, and whenever I come to a question of what I'm going to be doing with something, that means I could change my mind. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and save it as it is. And let's see here, which I haven't saved yet. So, we'll go ahead and say save as. And we're going to say pineapple juice and hello there we go and we'll put lines and we don't need the SV we just want an illustrator file and save okay so here we are so if I decide I want to go backwards and maybe these lines don't appeal to me anymore and I want them to be thinner I can do that um, and actually, let's just take a look while we're thinking about it. Um, surface, I'll use, I want surface. Alright, so see, I was able, all the pink lines are the ones that are on that layer. And so let's just go ahead and see what it looks like with one point. It's more contrast. Um, Let's do the old back and forth. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to probably keep it thinner. Oops. Undo. Undo. 
let's get my selection again let's go down and we can always do the in between <coughs> 1.5 like I was saying earlier mm -hmm. kind of a go between and maybe we'll do that and again we'll do a quick save okay so now what uh, it's either clean up or put color in uh, usually I clean it up um, so um, this is where you actually go ahead and create shapes out of everything if you look at it right now there's the lines looks like lines but each one of the strokes is on here in a different way and you can still go in and change those so if you've got this and let's say you decide you want the eyebrow to be bigger or something like that you can select this still go up this way with stroke width or let's undo okay the other way would possibly be to select this go to the nope, not shape builder we want the width tool select it and you can go at any given point and let's say oh yeah I really want this to be a lot wider only at that point so there you go you would get it to look like that so another option um, let's see I don't want it right now but there you go so at this point this is when you decide what you want to do um, hmm. so what next let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make some decisions then okay so back to the hey everything's made of lines so you can do a control Y and you see everything's lines right now. So if I want to maybe do some cleanup where I just have to erase shapes, if I erase lines like these right now, what happens is this. So let's just draw one out here. Okay, so we got that. It's only a one point. See how thin that looks there? Okay. Let's go wide just for grins okay so here we go that's a four wow okay so look at this little hook here let's say I didn't want that so I'm gonna go ahead and I just have the eraser tool on the back of my Wacom pen stylus and I'm just going to go in ahead and erase this now when I release here right here where this line ends the points gonna rebuild because it reads it from end to end so release and look at that so if that's what you want great works out fine but if you overlapped on purpose thinking you were to get a thicker shape at the end of your line and then come back in and do it so this might be an example right here so if you go ahead and do this there just do it up to that point okay so that's the result you get now if you want it that way great I actually want it thicker there <coughs> so what do you do um, you can always use the width here and bulk it up and then erase it but it's still going to come to a point let's say you just want a flat in there so one method would be to go ahead and select this do a object expand appearance alright so now we got a shape see went from line right there to a shape so and if you look at everything else that we've done so far so now it's a shape not a line so if you want then you can use the eraser tool again come up here let's take care of most of this still have a bit of an overlay and control Y alright so now we have a thick end here fins up here still got a little goober there that I might need to take 
care of. But there's that. So if you're going to go with shapes for your inking, this is one quick way to clean up. So uh, go ahead, object, expand. So now we've got a shape. And then you just come in, erase that out. Release, deselect, and so now it's clean. So you can do that with all of them. So again, object, expand, and get rid of it. Okay. So here also. Okay. So you can go ahead and do it that way. Or you can just select them all and make them shapes and then do the cleanup. You can do it one by one. Um, usually I like to get it all done at the same time. If there's something though that you wanted to line and you went to shape, like let's say you wanted to connect these two, uh, then you're going to have to do it a different way. Once it's a shape, it's more difficult to edit than if it's a line. I always try to keep it as editable as possible, but let's say I want this closed off now. I could do a control J. It's going to be flat, but then I could just come back in here and use the smooth tool and smooth it out. Um, if you don't like that and you want to do something else, if you do it as a shape and then you have to redraw both sides of the line so that it connects. So, right here, do I want it closed or not? Uh, I think it's more interesting if it isn't. It's not as easy to clean up because I'm going to have to draw a circle around it to get the white space there, but with that aligned there, it kind of looks interesting. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it back the way I had it. There we go. Okay. So, right now, I'm going to go ahead and make shapes of all the lines. don't need you anymore. So, I'm going to select all. I'm going to go object and expand appearance. Alright, so now I've got shapes. They're all on separate layers still. And I don't want to save over what I've saved so far. So I'm going to do a save as, just to make sure I don't screw it up. And we'll go with shapes. And enter. Okay, so now I won't mess up my um, original. <coughs> Alright, so right now I'm going to do some cleanup. And I can do it a layer at a time if I want. So we'll go ahead and do this for right now. Just to kind of give you a little more idea of what you're working with. Um, not as much clutter. Okay, so but now everything's a shape. So we're going to go ahead and clean up some areas here usually right here in the eyes where we have some overlay overhang I should say so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and get the eraser end take it out and you can select with the eraser end and then do any kind of work you want alright so now what here do I want the eyeball buggy a little more buggy or do I want it overhung to make him look more scared or sorrowful I guess I think I'm actually going to get rid of it. So let's see what that looks like. And that. Okay. So let's take another look. And I'm going to turn back on the surface just to see the eyes. Yep, I think I'll keep that. Turn that off for now. Any other cleanup? Okay, so now I have a decision here. Do I want these to touch? It's not going to make that big of a difference, and I grab the wrong thing, deselect, grab the right thing, select this, and just give it a little drag, a little more, oh, why is it doing that? Okay, thought it just had the point here, but, hmm, alright, well, let's do it the hard way then, switch over, Grab this, give it a little drag. Okay. So, um, 
with these gaps I don't mind them so much I'm gonna have those lines in there and so I'm not gonna worry about any of these outside ones they're okay this one just has enough of a tip to know that it's wrong so we will just scoot it up a little bit and let's see this overhang I want to take care of so I'm going to just erase it up to where it touches the line here there we go and fall around fall around okay we've got this lip thing here so which side do I want to be protruding do I want this and get rid of this or vice versa mm -hmm. on the original drawing I did have this gone I mean I can make a decision but yeah, I like it better this way. So I'm just going to grab that and zip it off. Okay, so I think that pretty much... Oh, nope, here's one. I'll go ahead and get rid of you. I think that's it. So this one doesn't touch, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. So let's take another look. All right. <coughs> so... Um, I may want to go ahead and keep this because this is pretty much the template of the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lock down the BOD layer. And I'm going to bring up the surface. And... And, let's see, do I want the leaves in here? Is that going to be too messy? In the bottom. Don't care about the bottom right now. Let's uh, let's get rid of the leaves for right now, and I think I'm actually going to select this stuff and put it in with the leaves. So it's all one piece, even though I have the two different line weights. I'm okay with that. So Control X, and I'm going to the leaves and we light it up. Once I have that layer selected, I'm going to do a control F to paste in front and then hide that layer and it's gone. Alright, so we still have the bod separate from the rest. And let's take another look. Okay, so now we're cleaning this up. And wherever we don't want an overlap, so I'm going to select that, get rid of it. Here, eh, it's not enough, but whoop, you don't want to take off past the other line either. So let's see here, get rid of you. Um, this we're okay with, just kind of going around. This one needs a cleaning, and I'm okay with that. And that, this one, nope we want a smooth edge there undo because I went too far all right keep going um, let's see what about this I think I want this little tip gone oh that's on the big end um, okay so if I want to clean this line up it's the one I have locked right now. So I'm going to unlock. Whoop. I still need to see it. Unlock. Go here. And just take this little end off. And then just lock it back up again. Alright. Back to surface. Am I okay with this? Or let's see. Do I want to get rid of it? Hmm. So I want it to kind of be rounded more. Okay, we'll leave it. Uh, this one. Hello. Again, I gotta go back to the bod level. Select this and just take that off. And let's see here. So. Da -da 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 -da. How are we looking? How are we looking? This is kind of a mess there. Let's fix it up. Which one do I want and not want? I guess I want this one to go. And let's just make sure. Whoop, a little too much here. Forgot how big my eraser was. Oh, 
turn. I'm going to go back again. Select this and nip it. And back out again. How are we looking? Mm hmm. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. see anything I'm missing right now. I guess this one right here still needs some help. And we get rid of you. See ya. And back out again. And there we go. Alright. I'm liking it so far. Let's get the leaves back in here. And this one I'm definitely not too worried about. The little openings, the little hangovers, that's actually going to add to it. So that's going to stay. I'm not going to mess with it. And then we just have the bottom portion. And again, not a big deal, but I am going to get some of these lines out of the way. I hate to do it that way. It's on a separate layer. I could get away with not doing it. So I'm actually, I think I'm going to leave it. And so now we're up to the coloring phase. So <clears throat> what I can do is, let's go ahead and start another layer. But before I do anything with that, I'm going to name it and I'm going to say ink. And I'm going to take all my pieces here, toss it into that. All right, get out of there. Uh, so, oh, wait a minute, did it go into the wrong one? Let's undo, yeah, I think so. So I'm going to select this one and this one, drag it there. See, now we've got it nested. And this one and this one, and that's going to go there also. So now we have the ink layer separate. Cool. Start up another one. <clears throat> and this one's actually going to be underneath, because this is going to be our color layer. All right, so yeah. L R. All right, so we got ink and color and the original still. So if we have to go back, because right now I'm just doing the image here, but look at all the extra pieces I have here. Uh oh, where'd you go? There we go. And let's just hide those. So yeah, so I don't think I'll probably use the text, but I might just redraw this blink blink portion. This I might do with text, but who knows. I mean, I do kind of like it. I do like handwritten type. So, or titles, or whatever you'd like to call it. So, I'm going to go ahead and... I think I'll leave that. Okay, so we'll go back out. I'm going to go to the color layer that's active. We want the ink layer on. We want to lock it. We want the color layer on. So we can go in and start to color. <clears throat> what will also help too is if you have a color background just to make sure that you find any white spots. So we're going to say BG, whoop, BG for color and let me just select a quick box on that layer, yes. I'm just going to grab this. Quick drag it down. And I'm going to go ahead and go with um, I don't even distracting. I guess a gray would be alright. So I'll wait a minute here. So I don't want to stroke on it. We'll just get rid of that. There's our green color. And I want something a little more pale. Uh, not quite that pale. There, that works. Alright, so we'll lock that down. So now we can see when we're going in. And now I'm going to start with coloring. So coloring, I definitely want shapes. So what I'm going to do is switch over here to the blob brush. And I'm going to get in here and... We'll just start with the eyeballs because, hey, you got to see what you're doing. So, we got the white selected. I'm supposed to be in this. 
Am I on the right layer? No, because I'm still here with the background that I locked. So we'll go here to color. Now it's showing I've got something here. We'll go ahead and go in. And I don't know, do I want a bigger brush? Eh, I think I'll keep this for right now. The eyeball's going to be a little bit more difficult. but And there's a lot of different ways to fill in shapes, but I'm kind of... I can do this pretty quickly, so I usually stick with it. So I've got that selected. Alright, so here's the trick. So it's a blob brush. So if we go in here and look again, we've got in individual outside. So what we have is a compound shape. So the outside edge, the inside edge, it's compounded. And all we're going to do is select the direct select, select the inside only, and let's go back here so you can see worst color in the world yellow on white but uh, so if you go ahead and do a delete that gets rid of one point do a second delete and now you have a solid shape so I can take this move it over all right so that's how I like to do that it's down and dirty it's quick and so back to the paintbrush or the blob brush and we're still on the right layer. Got the right color here. And it's gonna let me do anything. No, nope. why is it on shape? Oh, because I'm not on blob. Okay. And that wasn't shape, that was the paintbrush. Now I'm on blob. Okay. <clears throat> so, and with the blob brush, depending on what you're doing, you can always go in and on the Wacom. I'm going to go to the brush size and that's off screen on another place I can't figure out how to get it in front over here on my other window uh, my other monitor so you just have to take my word for it so we'll go through here and it's just like coloring in the coloring book except for double delete and now we got a shape okay so we're gonna go to zero take a look all right, what else is going to be white? The teeth. So let me click do that while I've got it selected. And we'll just come in here. And da 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 da. All right. And yeah, that's going to be white teeth. It's probably going to be gray, though, or some other darker color than just white. But we'll just keep playing that way. It can be changed later. Alright, so we got that. Select the inside. There we go. Double delete, and we got a fill. <coughs> Alright, so let's see. If I'm working like this, I guess I should fix this a little bit. Sorry, guys. Alright, let's try that. Oh, that's not much better. Let me just twist the monitor a tad wrong way. Yeah, that figures. Okay, so here we are. We've got the teeth and the eyeballs. What's next? Well, most pineapple is yellow orange. Um, usually, about now, I'd probably go with a photo reference just because. And am I still? But I'm going to go ahead and just try to get the shape in here so I can. 
do some more. So, and normally I use uh, a color palette rather than swatches or this. Right now I've got it cleared out, I guess. So I don't have anything set up. Uh, new color group. New swatch. Sorry, over here. Cancel. All right, I'll just play with this for right now. I don't usually do color this way, but right now I just need probably more of an orange for the background. I'm going to stick with that for now. And I'm going to quick start up a, a, a color group. And let's just call it pineapple. Okay. All right, so I've got this here, and once I've got that selected, I can just take it and drag it. No, nope, i got to take it from here and drag it. No, nope, won't let me do that either. So, let's go here. Color guide. No, nope, color, color guide. Nope, nope, nope. All right, let's try to draw. Again, blob brush, and... Get on the color layer, which I am. So how come Blobby's not showing up here? Got the color. Got a color. Why is the brush not here? Did it stuck somewhere? Ruh -roh. Let's do a quick save just because. Did it save? No, it didn't save. Uh oh. Could be a lot of work lost. Control save. Come on, guys. Alright, let's try this. Did you lock up on me? Task manager. back now. Hmm, okay. Alright, let's get back at it. And let's get in here. And so, what I'm really going to go for here right now is just the outside edge. I'm going to leave the leaves part because it's green separate. And I'm just going to go around the outside here. Just getting a background. Right. Now, uh, my hand's getting tired and I'm running out of space here. I need to readjust. So I'm going to release. And then when you come back in, depending on your setting, you should go ahead and connect it right back up again. Did it? Yes, it did. So. But you can have the setting where it doesn't do that if you're doing multiple shapes and you don't want them to connect. So that's an option. So again, here I am. Get into a goofy position. So I'm going to go ahead and switch and release and come back in. And here's why I can go through the leaves because the leaves are on a separate layer and they're going to be on top. So I can just go right by and not pay much attention. See ya, leaves. Alright, we'll stop there, switch, grab and go again. Okay, up and around, up here. I'm going to go through the eyebrow. And here we are, getting close to connecting. And we did. Now, we'll select that inside line like we did before. Because it is a shape, compound shape. Double delete. <clears throat> and we fold and so that's color but look my eyeballs are gone so I'm going to select this control X control F oh that's in front control X control. Uh -oh. see when you start thinking about what you do you forget how you do it 
So let's see here. Let's do undo. Control X. Control B. Yeah, there we go. Control B. Paste it back. All right. So there we go. All right. So we got some basic blocked in colors so far. <coughs> Let's see, and I don't know how dark, I mean, these leaves are generally pretty dark. Um, but let me go ahead and get that color in here. Let's go with a dark green for now. That's uh, a little darker than I hoped. A little bit. Let's try, Let's try that for now. All right, so I'll go ahead. And that's selected. We want the blob brush again. We want to make sure we're on the color layer. And again, I'm just going to go along the edge here. So I have a blocked in shape. And around. Around. And just following my inking. a little point there but I'm too close to the end so select the hollow the direct select double delete and we've got a green section and I'll probably use the same on this so back to blob brush come in here And I'm going to keep the palette pretty basic, not too many colors, because it's a cartoonish sort of thing. Okay, so we've got this going on here, which means my color layer, because my color layer is separate from the actual um, inking, and the inking is on top, which is what I normally would do. I would need to go ahead and make changes for these leaves here. Or I'm sorry, for the bottom leaves. I would have to take them out of this section and do them separately so that they would be on top. Um, or clean it up. So take the black line out and just have it the way it is. So right now I'm just going to leave it. Okay. Now the eyebrows. Um, um, I do want it dark, but if I use the green here, then it's going to look more like another leaf than an eyebrow. So, I don't know. I'll go ahead and do green, I guess, for now. And leaves at the bottom. I don't want to do that. I want on the color layer, so I'm selecting that. And we'll go in here and zoom in. And just do this real quick. Bing, bing, bing. All right, and I missed a little corner there. Now this is so minor that I think I'll just go in quick, draw it in. And again over here. like so. Select the inside and double delete. Control zero to get out again. And look at that. We've got a couple of colors on our pineapple. Alright. Stretch time. Mm. Okay. So some other color choices. Uh, what color am I going to make the inside of the mouth? I mean if you're going from the inside of a pineapple it would probably be yellow. So that would be interesting. Um, the other thing is, what else am I missing? Yeah, what is the, I don't know what the little dangy ball, that hangy ball in the back of your throat is, but that's what that is. So what color is that going to be? Probably the same as the mouth. Maybe a little lighter or darker. And what else? 
Um, there was something else I was missing. Inside of the mouth, the hangy ball, and that's it for this one, I think. So, um, and what I can do is just go ahead and designate a color right now and change my mind later. We'll go ahead and go with red just because. Okay, get in here, and I'm actually going to do this a different color. I'm going to do red right now, but when I'm done, I'll probably end up doing it separate with a different color. So I'm just going to go around and around. So I'm going to do this. I think a little. All right, so there. Yep, a little bit. I'll fix it later. Select the inside. Hello. And inside. There we go. Double delete. And these other separated pieces. Double delete. And double delete. And control zero. Okay. So well, that didn't look bad there. Let me do a quick save. Alright. And let's see. So right now I'm in a good place. I've got the colors flat. We've been at it in an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a little breather and come back in a few. Um, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe and I'm trying to do more and more of these. If I get some more interest, then I'll probably do more. But uh, right now, it's just whenever I get around to it. But hopefully, that'll change. So, uh, thank you so much for checking it out. And thank you, and have a great day. Bye.